Hey guys, welcome back to this channel and welcome to today's episode. So in this channel we talk about fashion, hair, beauty, lifestyle, travel, talk shows and DIYs. And on to today's episode, I'm going to show you guys how to apply and how to style your natural 4C and 4B hair using soft and free styling gel. So my hair is already clean and moisturized because you want to make sure that your hair is clean and your hair is moisturized and your scalp not left dry before you can have this gel applied on your hair. And so after ensuring that all this is done, then you just need to part your hair. That is if you want any styling or any style. And as for me, I wanted a, a line in the middle and that's what you're just seeing me do. I'm just making sure that my line is straight so that I can have my hair slicked down behind into a ponytail before I can start my gel application. So it depends with which style you want. So then I'll have my hair slipped down or combed back into a ponytail as you can see in the video and then I'll just go ahead and use my styling gel. In this case I'm using soft and free styling gel and this gel is not talked about so so much and I can promise you it's a really 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 nice gel. I like it, I love it because it slicks down my hair so good and so perfectly so after that i'm just going to go ahead and apply the gel on my edges basically and then after that i'm just going to use my hand to slick down the gel and at some point i'll also be using a jelly comb to just make sure that my hair is slicked down so smooth and so perfectly and so just make sure that you're patient enough and that you take your time to get your best uh, desired results and this is something that doesn't really take long to have it um, put on it's a style that takes roughly 10 to 30 minutes to be done and I forgot to show you a step because after my gel is already applied then I'll just go ahead and wrap my hair using a satin hair or head wrap and that and then i'll just let it sit for a few minutes before i can have it taken off and then thereafter i'll have my extension i'll wear my extension and then i'll be ready to go so i forgot to show you this part where i wrap my head using this satin hair wrap and I think I'll do another video so detailed showing each and every step, each and every bit of whatever I do so that you can get exactly everything that I do. And most of the time when I wear this style, I don't like wearing it with my edges on. I like it when my hair is all slicked behind and when none is left for the baby hair. So in this video, in this style, I'm not going to have any baby hairs done. So what I'm simply doing here is just using my jelly comb to just make sure that my hair is slicked all behind so well so smooth and that there are no bumps or lumps on my head and this is why you really have to take your time as you do this to avoid any bumps or lumps which at the end may not give really good 
results so just do this and just be patient enough and you'll be happy with the results and i really like the smell of this gel it smells so 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 nice so after slicking down your hair then you can just go ahead and add any gel amounts to just make sure that everything is nice but also make sure that you don't use too much of it and the other thing that makes me like this gel so much is because it doesn't flake there are times you slick down your hair using a gel and the same day or the next day you wake up you find that your hair has those white patches and whitish like flour particles that you really don't know how to help them what causes this is uh, the type of moisturizer that you use on your scalp and the type of the styling gel that you use to do your styling so these are really two major important things that you really need to make sure you take good care of for you to get nice and good results and the moisturizer that I used for my hair is Sedoso Coconut Oil, which is a really good oil for the skin, for the hair, and for the scalp. And there are a variety of moisturizers you can use. You can use black castor for your hair, you can use coconut oil, you can use olive oil, and they are so, so, so numerous. So it all depends again with the type or kind that your scalp or your hair reacts with well because our hair and our skin also reacts differently to different products. So guys, just make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you follow me on my social media platforms and youtube instagram at grace chloe facebook grace favor tiktok at g underscore awimbo and after this is done i'm simply going to wrap my head and wait for a few minutes and after that I'll, i'm just going to have my extension on and then I'll be ready to go. One thing that I really like with this soft and free styling gel is that it can take me for days. Like I can really go for like a week plus days with this hairstyle on. So it's a really good gel it holds so strongly and so perfectly and you go days with it and the style still remains fresh and beautiful thank you so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and until next time it's a bye bye for now